How's it going? How are you? You're back. Yeah, yes, I am. This is a very rare piece. Okay. This is Remington from the late 1800s. It's got some silver, and it's got some gold in it, and it's all engraved. This is pretty nice. Where did you get this? Well, a lady friend of mine got it uh, in a divorce. So lady friend, huh? Lady friend. <laughs> <laughs> we, we made an arrangement, and... Uh, you got paid for your services. Uh, in this case, <laughs> you might say so. I have a late 1800 Remington seven and a half inch barrel gun. There were very few of them made. If I could walk out of here with $6,000, I'd be happy. And my lady friend would be very happy as well. well. I'm not gonna lie, I have a few lady friends. I have a few. That is one big gun. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure that has a lot of firepower. This was a real popular thing right around the late 1800s to really fancy up your gun. Right because if you were really rich, there was less things to spend your money on. There was no jet skis to buy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so a lot of people would buy something like this. And it's neat. We have a gold-plated cylinder, a gold-plated hammer. Beautiful gun. Did she give you any paperwork or anything? No, with she didn't have any paperwork. We just want to make sure it's manufactured. 1898 or back. That makes it legally an antique. It can be transferred without any federal paperwork. It makes life easier for everybody, and it adds value. Oh, wow. This gun is absolutely incredible. This thing could be worth a ton. Now I just need to figure out how much. Did you have an idea what you wanted for it? Well, I think that's worth close to $15,000. There are a few little concerns I have here, sure. okay? Is it factory engraved? Are these factory grips? Do you mind if I have someone look at it? There's a lot of little weird things that I need to know about it. I gotcha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna call them up, hang out, right. and I don't know, enjoy the sights. Thank you. Getting a second opinion is gonna help because it's really a nice piece and I think it's worth a lot of money. This is it, fancy schmancy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and may I? Please. The form is of a Model 1890 Remington. They only manufactured these for about five years. At that time, there was an arms race among the manufacturers, and Colt was leading the way. But many experts out there will say that this was actually the superior model. In 1890, if you were anybody in the Wild West, you're going to carry a Remington or a Colt. This was that cowboy gun. This gun is completely original. This could exceed in value of maybe 40000 or more. So is it factory or is it not factory? That's my big question on all this. If you don't mind, I'd like to take the grips off. Oh, please do. I want to discern how old this work is. So right down here is where the serial number is, 1591. So this would place the year of manufacture probably around 1893, 94, which is good. One of the negatives that I'm seeing is that this looks really new and untouched. All the real ones have discoloration. This looks like it could have been put on there two weeks ago. The other thing that I'm seeing, this is the lanyard right there. It's all very fresh metal. There's no age to it whatsoever. Uh -huh. The good thing about it is I like the engraving. It's in the correct style. It's not overly embellished. You know, it's very tastefully done. All right. I would say that the refinish on this, in other words, the silver plating and the gold wash, and chances are the grips were upgraded within the last 40 years. Okay. So what do you think it's worth? A gun like this is going to be about a $4,000 gun with this engraving, but really? no original finish. But in today's market, you're going to spend an additional $4,000 just to have all this work done. Really? So realistically, I've seen them sell uh, eight to maybe 12,000. Okay. Thanks, man. You're the best. A collector probably had it when it was in its worst condition and said, you know what? I want to bring this thing back to life. So I'm going to spend the money and have it completely overhauled and redone. And that's exactly what this is. So, what's your rock bottom price? I'm, I'm thinking 9,000. I'm thinking no. <laughs> I knew I mean, you were going to say that. I, I, I'm not trying to beat you up. I mean, he just told you you expect between 8 and 12. So I'm going to assume I'm going to get around 8, and I should pay you around 5. How about 7? 
you're a good guy, you've come in here before, you've sold me other things. I'll tell you what, I will give you $6,000. We'll shake hands, we'll do the paperwork. The world will be good. You got a deal. Sweet. I'll meet you right over there, man. This is cool. I feel very, very, very good that we settled on $6,000. My lady friend would be very happy as well.